Sometimes I get asked the question, who's my role model? You know? Uh, and I guess the answer to that is it probably depends at, at what age. When I was really young and probably did have role models that really affected me, I didn't know the concept of a role model. So I actually think that uh, the role models that, uh, that we have that really help f determine our character. <clears throat> I mean, of course, there are our parents and, and our, our friends, but uh, <clears throat> made a family, but I don't think we really um, I think about that at a time when it has the most effect. Later on in life, you know, as you're an adult and you're, you have your teachers and, and I've had mine, but uh, I, 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 I'm, I guess uh, I don't, I feel like I've had many, not just one, and I've been very fortunate for that reason. And I think people who are successful in life uh, are, uh, are, uh, have, have the wonderful accident of having, uh, having had, uh, whether intentional or not, sometimes you find the person who you admire, uh, that's a skill, uh, but this, the ability to have that skill, to seek out a role model, is uh, something that probably is acquired through role models that we don't seek out. As a young scientist, um, there, there was a, uh, a great biochemist who was uh, very, very influential to me, and also I have to say, uh, when you interview Randy Sheckman, I'm, I'm sure you hear the same name, his name was Arthur Kornberg. Uh, Arthur Kornberg was one of the great biochemists of the 20th century, possibly the greatest biochemist of the second half of the 20th century. He, uh, uh, is, uh, he was my hero uh, as, uh, as I was learning biochemistry. And uh, I actually left medical school without finishing my medical doctor's degree uh, in order to take the opportunity to work uh, in a laboratory next to Professor Kornberg my first job uh, as an independent scientist was as a young professor at Stanford University. And Arthur uh, uh, was the uh, chief of the department, really. Uh, and uh, uh, actually uh, was a, a great inspiration to me. Uh, the work that was recognized in this Nobel Prize, my contribution to it, began during that period. And I don't think that uh, I would have been as successful in doing what I did if it were not for the kind of scientific environment that he fostered and the type of science that he represented, uh, which we called enzymology. And he was without a doubt the master of enzymology of his era. And for me to have the opportunity to take that discipline to a new level, uh, you know, under the watchful eyes of the master was quite an extraordinary experience. He won the Nobel Prize, by the way, many years ago, in I believe 1959.